Have you ever seen a living corpse? Dear reader, do you believe that the dead can be revived? That they can be made to live once again? Then read this story. One of the best of my terror tales that I keep here in the crypt. It is the story of James Cooper. And how he came back from the dead, I call it a shocking way to die. My story begins in a courtroom, down with a curious, who have come to watch a convicted murderer be sentenced to death. And it is the judgment of this court. James Cooper, that you be sent to state prison, and there be electrocuted on the night of November 7th. And may the Lord have mercy on your soul. No! No! I'm defreed. You're all against me. But... I'll get revenge. I'll come back. Headlines of James Cooper's threat. Convicted murderer swears revenge. To return from the dead. Jury members abused. Convicted murderer swears revenge. To return from the dead. Jury members abused. For the right price, gentlemen, I can bring James Cooper back from the dead. Revive him after he has been electrocuted. That is correct. I have been experimenting on electrocution death for many years and have been successful with animals. I have gone to experiment on a human. That is why I contacted you. And so, a few days before James Cooper was to die in the electric chair, he had a visitor in the death house. Of course, you fool. What have I got to lose? Pay him his money. The deal was made, and on the night of November 7th, at the appointed hour, Let's go, Cooper. Sure, Gart, sure. Down the long corridor to the little green door, the convicted man, flanked by the warden and the guard, slowly made his way down the last mile. into the lethal chair. Electrodes were fastened into place.
they may come in. Now be careful how you move it. Easy. Easy. Now let's get him to Dr. Swartz quickly. Right. All right, pick him up. Careful. An accident case. Covering your face with bandages after a few weeks with proper medication, your wounds will heal. Professor, here's my payoff. Don't need it. Sorry, now. Professor. I cannot leave you alive. You could open your mouth to the police. I'm saying to you. I'm gonna get that El Shuri I swore revenge. Now I'm going to get it. Alright, jury number one. Here's where you get yours. Second juror in Cooper case. Found murdered. He was gunned down inside of this hotel where he was eating. In the early morning, police discovered first juror's dead body in the footpath while he was his way to home. It's feared victims of gangland retaliation. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. The mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him. The police grilled suspect after suspect. Huh? Meanwhile, the other jurors were given police protection. All right, all right, I'll talk. I'll talk, it's Cooper, he's alive. 
You were lying. Yeah. Then why don't you look in his grave for his body? Well, yes, y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... And Saturdays. What the hell is he doing out there? Hogan? Get the necessary papers. We'll take this Stooley's L suggestion. Okay, boys. Try open the coffin. is all alone in his room. Nobody is here to protect him. I will kill you. Just wait for me. Remember me, sir? I am James Cooper. James Cooper? How? You ordered me to execute me in the electric chair and I promised I'll be back and will take my revenge. I kept my promise. Now it's your turn. Please try to understand. I didn't have any problem with you. Judging is my profession, all the evidence was against you. You killed so many people. It is my duty to serve the law. Ready to die, please. Thank God. Officer, you just saved my life. Cooper's dead body is lying, still. But nobody would believe a dead body can revive. Yes, Judge, Cooper lived, at least he moved and talked, but he was a living corpse and his body continued to decay, as all dead bodies do. Soon, he ah, decayed to such a point that even the life that the poor, deep professor had given him slipped away. Too bad, though. He was getting to look real pretty, didn't you think so? 